welcome to Life in Envelopes. I am Jennifer Bleacher. This channel is all about planning and budgeting. So if those are topics that you are also interested in, then please subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you along on this journey. In today's video, we are going to be setting up my budget, my family budget, for the month of July. And I somehow got off schedule, so we're actually going to go ahead and close out week one and set up week two as well. <laughs> so um, just to give you a little bit of background, I don't even know how many months it's been, but for a few months now, we've been um, a month ahead. And unfortunately, I just, I guess I forgot that things slow down in the summer with Etsy, and um, we're just not able to maintain the month ahead at this point in time. So we're going back to week to week budgeting. And then after we reach a couple of our financial goals, we're going to then focus on um, getting a month ahead again. So our other financial goals we want to accomplish first are, first, we want to have a $1,000 cushion in our account. Then we want to have a $1,000 emergency fund. Mark, please stop. Once we have those two things accomplished, then we're gonna focus on getting a month ahead again. Okay, let's go ahead and jump in, get everything set up, and see how the first week went. Okay, so for today's budget, I'm gonna be using the Budget by Paycheck Workbook by The Budget Mom. I do have a link to her website in the description box below. I'm also gonna be using a complete pack for the workbook from my Etsy shop, Life in Envelopes. When you order the complete pack, you get all of these pieces. You get the monthly spread. This pattern, by the way, is called Sweet Tea. So the monthly spread has all four pieces here. You also get the thick washi add-on that goes at the bottom of the monthly spread, four budget sheet um, stickers, a meal plan kit, four cash envelope stickers, and four expense trackers. So I'm gonna to start today by getting all of my stickers laid down in the workbook. up now so here's the monthly spread here is my um, ca budget category key that I put on this side this is David's payday and then these are the days that I will get paid in the month of July instead of paying myself when I get a check so I get checks from Etsy YouTube and um, Patreon but instead of doing like all those different checks um, I'm putting it all into my business account and from my business account I'm paying myself once a week so that's how I'm going to do that. And I'm going to put in the amounts that we get. So David brought home $20.92. And then on the 6th, I made $5.25. Okay, so we're going to start by closing out. Oh, let me do a quick flip through, sorry. So here are the budget and cash envelope stickers. Week one, week two, week three, and week four. And then I have four expense trackers. So here's for week one, which we've already finished. That's why it's all filled out. Week two, 
week three, week four. And then I do have a meal plan kit as well for the back. Um, I've been so bad with meal planning, but I don't think I've used this page for a couple months, but it's such a pretty page and it could be useful if I used it. <laughs> okay, so let's go back to week one and go over all of the um, purchases that we made. So starting with debt, we had the mortgage come out this week, which was $13.34. Then um, my SUV payment came out as well, which was $118. Okay, we didn't have any bills that came out this week. Going on to food, we had $200 for food. So I'm so excited. <laughs> it's been a while since we have stayed on budget for food. Just a sec, I'm get this off. So our budget was 200 and we spent 200. So that makes me very, very happy. <laughs> okay, next is gas. We budgeted $40 for gas. And then miscellaneous, we budgeted $50 for miscellaneous. Sorry friends, I confused myself. I actually did not spend money on miscellaneous this week. And I did not spend money on gas this week. That was my budgeted amount, but we didn't actually spend those. Okay, so spending money, we did get our $45 of spending money. And then for savings challenge, we didn't do any for the first week, but we did put some money aside for sinking funds. We put a total of 172 aside for sinking funds. Okay, so now let's go to the budget for week one and update that, and then we will set up the budget for week two. So starting with David's pay, he did make 2092 and I made 525. So that was what we budgeted. Okay, so then for mortgage and Toyota, so we have 1334 plus 118. That's 1452. And those were exactly what we budgeted. Well, see this is working out exact because I did the budget after we spent the money, so it's accurate this week. Okay, so 2617 minus 1452. That is 1156. Okay, so that's it for our fixed expenses just for week one. So this isn't for the whole month. This is just for week one, which covered the date range of July 3rd through July 9th. Okay, moving on to our variable expenses. So we did spend our $200 on food. We did not spend our gas money and we did not spend our miscellaneous money, but we did spend, we did get our spending money. Okay, so we budgeted, let's see, 200 plus 40 plus 50 plus 45. We budgeted 335, but we only spent 245. So we are currently left with $911. So I'm gonna bring that up here. We thought we were going to have 821. Okay, so we did set aside $5 for car maintenance, car registration, $10 for Christmas, $5 for the vet, $5 for garbage, and $142 for loan number two. So let's see how much that is altogether. It should be $172. So that's 172. Okay, so, so 911 minus 172 is 739. Okay, coming down to extra debt, that is not our focus right now, so we did not do anything for that. Coming down to our savings challenge, so we didn't budget anything and we didn't actually do anything for savings challenge for week one. The rest of this money is going to roll over. We're gonna roll that over to next week to help cover um, expenses. So by rolling that over, we're bringing, we have a place for all of our money now. That means that we have, um, we're left over with zero at the end because we're rolling it over for bills. And that's what I like to do at the end of each week. I wanna zero out my budget, meaning I have a specific place for all of my money. Okay, it is time to set up week two, which covers the time period of July 10th through July 16th. 
So we're starting with the rollover amount. So we are rolling over $739. I'm going to get paid $525. So $739 plus $525 is $1264. I might not actually get $525. We'll have to see how um, what my paycheck is when it comes in this week. Okay, HBO. So here are all the bills. And if we go to the front of the workbook, to the bill tracker page, oh, we can go ahead and cross off what we what was paid today, which was the mortgage, and what was the other one? Um, the SUV came out already. Okay, so looking here, I already set this up, but this is where I get the information. So week two and three, these are all the bills that are normally come out during that time period, so I went ahead and wrote them down. So HBO is going to be about $17. Ames will be $274. MetroNet will be about $89. Google Fi will be around $52. And Netflix will be $17. I also like to write if these are debts or bills. They're all fixed expenses in this top category here. But to me, a debt is something that's going to get paid off and a bill is something that will never be paid off. Like if we want HBO, we always have to pay for it. So that is a bill. The city of Ames is a bill. That's for our power and our water. Metronet is a bill. Google Fi is a bill. And Netflix is a bill. So these happen to all be bills. Last week, they were all debts. Debts are things that will eventually be paid off. Okay, so let's add that together and see how much our bills are going to be this week, our fixed expenses. So 449, so 1264 minus 449, that's 815. Okay, coming down to our variable expenses. So we're starting with 815. So we're setting aside, this week we're setting aside $200. So this is what I did when I stuffed the cash envelopes last week. This is the week that it was for. So I stuff the envelopes and then I write it down. That's how I'm going to be doing it going forward. So we set aside, we left a hundred in our account and then we put a hundred in an envelope. A hundred in the account is for Sam's Club and the hundred in the envelope is for all other food expenses during the week. Gas, we put in $40 in the envelope. Miscellaneous, we put in $50 in the envelope. And spending money, we put in our 45. So all together, that's 335. So 815 minus 335, that's $480. Okay, coming up to our sinking funds. So when we did the video, um, after I did the video, I realized there were a couple more categories I wanted to add. So I did end up adding those, so those aren't on the video, but I did put the money in the envelope, so you'll see that in this week's um, cash stuffing video, which will come out on Thursday, you will see that there's money in these new envelopes. So car maintenance, we added five, car registration, we added five, Christmas, we added 10, vet, we added five, garbage, we added five, and loan number two, we added $142. So all together, that comes to $172, so 480 minus 172. That is $308 left. Now we are not going to put any of that towards extra debt right now. Right now, our big savings goal is to save a $1,000 cushion into our bank account. So that any extra money we have is gonna to go towards that goal. So savings challenge, ooh, I do need to change this. We actually, we took money out of our food account for our savings challenge, which is saving up for that $1,000 cushion. So we actually only put 195 in our food budget, so I'll need to fix that. And then we put $5 in our savings challenge. So let me fix my calculations really quickly. Okay, so I do that correctly. <laughs> we have 313 when we get down to the extra savings section. We put $5 aside for the savings challenge, and then we're gonna have whatever is left after we take out $5. That's gonna be our rollover for next week to help us continue paying off um, bills. 
at the end of the month, anything that we have left over in rollover will go towards that $1,000 cushion. But week to week, we have it continue to roll over to help us pay, pay for bills and expenses throughout the month. So 313 minus $5 would be $308, which brings our budget to zero. Okay, friends, so we are all set up for week two. So far, July is going well. I'm excited to finally be back on track doing cash uh, sinking funds again, doing cash envelopes again. And actually, honestly, I really like the week to week budgeting. I just feel like I'm in so much better control when I do it week to week versus monthly. So I don't mind going back to week to week because of that. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you wanna see next week's cash envelope stuffing, so cash envelope stuffing for week three, make sure you come back on Thursday to check that out. Thanks for watching everyone. See you next time. Bye.